Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got a system of three equations with three variables. And here are our equations. x, y minus x minus y equals to 11. The second equation is y, z minus y minus z equals to 14. And the third equation is zx minus z minus x equal to 19, where all these x, y, and z are our positive integers. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call the first equation as number one, second one as equation number two, and the third equation as number three. And now let's focus on this first equation, number one. And here's our equation number one. Let's focus on these first two terms. We can see x is in common. I can factor x outside and I can write y minus one and then minus y equals to 11. Now let me go ahead and manipulate this equation by just adding one on both sides. I'm going to add one on this side and one on this one to make things simple for us. And now let's focus on this part, negative y plus one. And here I have copied down negative y plus one. And this could be written as if I bring negative sign outside y minus one. So therefore of this equation is going to become x times y minus 1 and this I'm going to write as negative 1 times y minus 1 equals to 11 plus 1 makes 12. And now we can see that y minus 1, y minus 1 is common so I can factor that one out. So we ended up with the times x minus 1 equals to 12. And now I can switch them around, doesn't make any difference. Let me call this equation as equation number four. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation two now. And here's our equation two. Now let's go ahead and factor out y between these two terms. If I bring y outside, we ended up with z minus one. And then I can write minus z equals to 14. And now let's go ahead and add one on both sides. So we can write as y times z minus one, and this could be written as negative one outside, z minus one equals to 15. And here we can see that z minus one is in common. We can factor it out. So we can write this one as y minus one, times z minus 1 equals to 15. So let me go ahead and call this equation as number 5. And here's our next step. Let's consider equation 3 which is right up here. And we can see we can factor out z from here. So I can bring z outside and we ended up with x minus 1 minus x equals to 19 and now let's go ahead and add one on both sides so we can write as z times x minus one and this could be written as negative one outside x minus one equals to 20 and now we can see x minus 1 and x minus 1 is in common we can factor it out so I can write x minus 1 times z minus 1 equals to 20 and now let me go ahead and call this as equation number 6 so thus far we have come up with three more equations equation 4 equation 5 and equation six. And now let's try to make things simple. I'm gonna call this x minus one as an a, and this x minus one is gonna become a as well. This y minus one I'm gonna call b. This y minus one is going to become b. And this z minus one I'm gonna call c. Then this c minus one is going to become c as well. 
So let me go ahead and substitute. I'm going to say let uh, x minus 1 equals to a, y minus 1 equals to b, and z minus 1 equals to c. So therefore, our these equations 4, 5, and 6 are going to become a times b equals to 12 and the second one is going to become b times c equals to 15 and question number 6 is going to become a times c equals to 20. Now let me go ahead and call this equation number 7 and this as an equation number 8 and this equation number 9 and here we ended up with three more equations number 7 8 and 9 now let's focus on this equation 7 and here's our equation 7 a times b equals to 12 where a and b are our positive integers and here's the table if I pick a equals to one value then b is going to be 12 if I pick a equals to 2 b is going to be 6 if I pick a 3 b is going to be 4 and if I pick a is 4 then b is going to be 3 if I pick a equal to 6 b is going to be 2 and finally if I pick a equals to 12 then b is going to be one value and now let's consider this case one we are going to consider this case when a equals to one value and b equals to 12 then our equation 8 this equation 8 is going to become and here's our equation 8 b c equals to 15 let's go ahead and replace b by 12 so this is going to become 12 times c equals to 15 let's divide both side by 12 that means c turns out to be if we reduce it that is going to be 5 divided by 4 and we know that c is supposed to be an integer so therefore this is an invalid value so that's the reason we are going to reject this scenario and here's our case 2 when we're going to consider a equals to 2 value and b is 6 and now let's focus on this equation 8 once again which is b c equals to 15 i am going to replace this b by 6 value and c ended up to be a 5 over 2 and we can see that this is invalid as well since this is not an integer so this case is rejected as well and here's our case 3 when we consider a equals to 3 value and b equals to 4 and if I plug this b equals to 4 value in this equation 8 we can see that our c value turns out to be 15 divided by 4 and once again we can see that this is an invalid value since this is not an integer so this case is rejected as well and here's our case for this time we are going to consider values for a is 4 and b is 3 and let's consider this equation 8 once again b c equal to 15 let's go ahead and replace b by this 3 value and we can see that our c value turns out to be positive 5 which is an integer so therefore this is our valid value so therefore this case is accepted and here's case 5 this time we are going to pick a equal to 6 value and b is 2 and we can see that our c value turns out to be 15 divided by 2 which is not an integer therefore case 5 is rejected as well and here's our final case 6 this time we are going to pick a equals to 12 value and b is 1 
This time we are going to consider this equation 9 which is AC equals to 20 and this time I am going to replace this A value by 12. We can see that C value turns out to be a 5 over 3 which is not an integer so this is an invalid. Therefore our this case 6 is rejected as well. So thus we conclude that our only accepted values for A and B turns out to be 4 and 3. And if we plug it in in this equation 8, our C corresponding value is going to be 5. And now let's focus on this equation x minus 1 equals to A. And here's our equation x minus 1 equals to a and we know our a value is 4. Let's substitute this a by 4. So we're going to have x minus 1 equals to 4. So therefore our x value is going to be 5. And now let's focus on this equation y minus 1 equals to b. And here's our equation y minus 1 equals to b. In our case b is 3. Let's go ahead and replace by b by 3. So y minus 1 equal to 3. That means our y value turns out to be 4. And now finally let's focus on z minus 1 equal to c equation. And here's our equation z minus 1 equal to c and c value is 5. Let's go ahead and substitute over here. So z minus 1 equal to 5. So that means our z value turns out to be 6. So thus our solution turns out to be x equals to 5, y equals to 4 and z equal to 6 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.